Thanks very much for that. Right, it's been a perfect day to enjoy the outdoors. Shafali has the forecast and she's at uh, Bodham Arboretum near Kidderminster. It uh, looks a lovely place to take a stroll there, Chef. Absolutely, Mary. Yes, it's like resetting the button of my equilibrium. It's absolutely wonderful. Last time I was here was in the depths of winter, but here in summer it's a very different place. And it is crammed full of everything from flora and fauna to dells, glades, pools, plantations. It's alive with nature. Five miles of woodland. But from today and over the next few weeks, it's got a new resident. And to tell me more is Denise uh, Bramridge. Denise, who is this new resident? Well, we have a giant here living at the Arboretum. He's here for the whole of the summer. We're hoping the children can come along and meet him. Um, he's a very friendly giant, but he's extremely forgetful. He's lost lots of his belongings around the Arboretum, from his giant toothbrush to his watch to his big pants. Oh my goodness, uh, pants, that's rather unfortunate. I love the word pants. So basically, if parents are tearing their hair out for things to do over the summer holidays with their kids, this is an ideal place to come. And I think this is a great place to start. But uh, one more thing, um, I mean, it's full of all sorts of things. Tell us a, a few of the other things that people can see if they come here very quickly. Well, there are over five miles of lovely woodland walks. There's picnic benches, so you can bring a picnic along as well. Um, hoping the weather's going to be good over the summer holidays. Feed the ducks, come and see the farm animals. It's Absolutely. beautiful here. It is, yes. So um, it's hotting up actually into the middle of next week, so make plans now. Thank you very much, Denise. Uh, yes, uh, um, actually, summer has settled in very nicely and it's even been warm today. In fact, uh, our weather watchers tell us so. I think there's, oh my goodness, the ducks coming up there. It's beautiful, perfect timing. Um, yes, it's been a warm day today and the weather watchers uh, have been sending us our photographs, as you can see. We've had a little bit of cloud uh, around and the odd shower in the northwest of the region, but that will all clear actually later on tonight. And it's going to be perfect for watching out for the uh, uh, partial lunar eclipse, uh, if you're looking out for that. In fact, the moon rises at nine o'clock and uh, then, well, look out to the southeast. And uh, if you use a simple pair of binoculars, you should be able to, to see it. But it's not all plain sailing because by the time we get to tomorrow we've got some cloud increasing from the west there's a showery band of rain that's sitting out to the west that's going to be pushing eastwards over the next few days but uh, up until that time it's going to be clear this evening we've got clear skies any cloud will be melting away so temperatures will be dropping to about 12 celsius to 13 celsius and that sets us up beautifully tomorrow for lots of sunshine and more warm weather but as i say through the middle part of the day that's when the showery band of rain is going to be nudging in from the west and it's going to bring in some some showers to the western part of the region. It should stay dry in the east, but because of the cloud, temperatures will be pegged back to around 21 to 22, 23 Celsius. Today we saw 24, 25 here in the south. Oh, they're beautiful. And it's also been fairly muggy as well. Now that band of showery rain creeps eastwards during the course of tomorrow night. So we'll see one or two showers breaking out as well during that time. But because of the cloud actually tomorrow night, temperatures will hold up to around 14, maybe even 15 Celsius. And then it's during the morning on Thursday, that band of rain finally clears. So you may see the odd shower during the morning on Thursday, but it's an improving picture. And again, fairly warm. But Friday, we've got more substantial rain arriving and it's going to be cooly, cooler and breezier too. Back to you, Mary. Thanks, Shafari. Sounds like she's got some little feathered friends with her. That's all for now.